Hey guys, welcome to Workbox Wednesday when I show you what I have planned for my kids in each of their work boxes. I have a five year old who is in kindergarten and an eight year old who is in third grade. And I have put a lot of hours of work in tonight. You're watching this Wednesday, but I'm actually filming it Sunday night. And I tried my best to get everything in the pouches for the whole week. So. It took a while, but I think it will pay off later in the week, so we'll have to see. But I'm going to show you what we have for everything. Um, yeah. Um, the first thing is, this was a carryover from last week that we didn't finish. We talked about um, kind of the first inhabitants of North America and um, the, oh, I forget what it's called, the land bridge. And Ava did a little um, report on, well, she did a picture and label the woolly mammoth and then we have a little um, kind of report to do but the book wasn't in from the library yet so at some point this week we will finish that because we're already moving on to other things so in her workbox I have loaded up everything she needs for Monday this is other stuff that's for other times in the week that doesn't fit right now so we have not finished this yet so she has that she has her morning binder. I have put her journal in this week because I'd like her to do that a couple days. Um, I'm not going to show all of this because it's not a whole lot different than the last time I showed it. Um, okay, so science. Um, I, I think we're going to try to do science. Usually we do it two days a week, but I think we're going to try to do it more than that this week. Um, we'll have to see if we get to it but I'd like to, but, so let me show you what we have in here, um, everything that she will need for the week. So we are still using, um, core knowledge and we are still on investigating forces. We are on chapter four, I think. Yeah. Magnetism is a force. So we, what we are doing along with that now, rather than um, the teacher lesson plan that comes with it, we are using our Evan Moore skill sharpeners. It lines up with most um, of the core knowledge science for third grade because I think it's those are just the third grade standards um, topics. So we have um, we have these pages. I'm not sure at what point during the week we'll get to that. I know for sure tomorrow we will read chapter four and we will do our word work cards to go with it. And then I'm not sure what else we'll get to, but we have kind of our big questions, how do magnets interact with different materials and each other. We have some of the words that we're gonna be looking at and what are the characteristics of the force called magnetism. So I've got those printed out in case we want to start our lesson with that. And then, like I said, we have the pages from the Evan Moore book. Um, there is this project here where you make these bottle cap magnets, which we will do. Uh, we just need to get some bottle caps, but I've got the magnets and whatever else that she can use to decorate them. And then there's just like a little kind of experiment there on the back as well as all the other goodness that comes with the Evan Moore pages. So we have that. We also have, um, oh, it go? we have this little activity that I had planned to do um, before I decided to use the Evan Moore with it. So we're just going to tape um, a paper clip to the back of the squirrel and put a magnet on the other side of the paper so she can move the squirrel up to its acorn and showing that um, the force can still move it through paper. So we have that too, to do. All right, and then um, for at some point during the week, we have these two books, Scooby-Doo and the Magnetic Monster and Gotcha, A Science Solves It, A Mystery About Magnets. So. We have those that she can read. She's also, like I mentioned earlier, finishing that magic school bus book about magnetism. And then we have our kit from um, Lakeshore Learning. It's the standards kit. 
and I just have a tray in here to kind of set this stuff out on. And then I put, I took the pieces from the box. The box has four different um, activities in it. So I just put the pieces in here so we'd have them all together. And it's got um, a connection card that we will read through. And then it has an investigation card. And so we will go ahead and do that. And then here on the bottom, it's got an explain and connect that they have to answer. And so I just have the blank sheet of paper in there for her to write those answers on. So that is everything we need for that. I also threw our little matching cards in there again, but I'm pretty sure she knows them. She did them a couple times last week. Um, but I want to actually do them with her just to make sure she did them on her own last time. And then in this little box, I have one of our magnet sets and some paper clips. That's to go with the Evan Moore little experiment. I'd asked for a magnet and paper clip. So that's that. So that's science. That is for the whole week, but we will definitely do it tomorrow. For literature, let me take out everything I have in here. Remember, this is for the whole week, so it's not all for one day. So we use the Mazda's Press Literature Opal. And this week we are on to this section here. It's about setting. And so they start with a little short story first. Sometimes we do the short story and sometimes we don't. Since this is about life on Mars in the year 2275, I thought she would like that. And then somewhere in here I have a piece of paper. I'm going to have her draw based on how they describe the setting, what she thinks it looks like. Um, that's all we're going to do from this book on Monday. Then on Tuesday, we read the main story. This one's called Boomtown. And so we're going to go ahead and read that. Um, it's about a family that moves uh, west for kind of like the gold rush, I believe. And this little girl ends up making pies. Um, again, it's about the setting, though. So... On the second day, we'll read that, and then there are um, pages in the workbook, so she'll do uh, so Tuesday, she'll do two pages, Wednesday, she'll do two pages, and Thursday, she'll do two pages, but we read the story, um, the main story on Tuesday. There's also a little poem that it ends with, um, and I think we will read that on Thursday after she does her two little workbook pages. I also put in for this week our other creative story. She really liked doing the one last week, and um, she needs some. She needs to do it some more. <laughs> um, so I put that in there. Um, let's see. I also put this little mini book in that I bought on Teachers Pay Teachers. This is for younger grade. I want to say it's for first grade, but I think it's fine. It's a Let's Learn setting, and so there's just different little um, pages you can do help you understand the setting of a story. So we'll do that um, on hopefully Friday this week. We're going to go to the pumpkin patch. So I have, oh, and since the girl in the story bakes pies, I thought we would do pumpkin pie. So I found this printable on Teachers Pay Teachers. I printed it two to a page so that it would be a little smaller, but it's she's going to follow the recipe to make the pie. I just thought it was a nice link to the um, to the story. And then the other thing that we're going to do, um, hopefully Friday, but this may end up carrying over to next week, I don't know. Um, I thought that we would write a poem um, about the setting of the pumpkin patch, um, just to kind of practice describing something like that. And I have this little pumpkin um, shape that came in a, a printable that I am actually going to do with Wyatt. Um, so I just took a copy of that for hers. And I, we're either going to do an acrostic poem or we might do the shape poem. I'm not sure, but I just got that out of, or we'll take it from here. So that's everything we have for literature. For math, we are, I may have mentioned it in my previous video several times, we have dropped back to second grade math, and we are using Math Made Fun by the Moffat Girls. Is that what they're called? Hold on. Yes, the Moffat Girls. 
So we are, um, what I realized is her number sense past 20 is not very strong. So we are just backing up. We're going to do a few units and grade two and then reassess um, where she is. So anyway, I have the, um, all of the activity pages and the activity centers for the whole week. I just have them in these um, sheet protectors. So I have everything we'll need. To, if we do it um, Monday through Friday, which typically math we do every single day because we need it. So that's all in there. There's also a marker board and a dry erase marker in there um, because a lot of the mini lessons you do um, on a dry erase board. All right, spelling and vocabulary is the same thing it is every single day, every single week. Mostly it's um, spelling you see and um, spectrum spelling. So she has one page in here and we do one um, lesson in that. Writing, also the same. We have essentials in writing, which I've showed in previous videos. And she's really liking this, so I just left this in here. Cursive handwriting for kids, jokes, and riddles. So there, and last week we introduced um, the Good and the Beautiful Typing 1. She did the first two lessons and got her sticker, so um, we'll do some more this week. She really liked looking at this, how computers, or look inside how computers work, so I just left it in there um, for this week. I think computers, we don't typically do it every day, um, but whatever, she can do it as much as she wants. I almost feel like you should do it every day just so that you don't kind of lose that finger memory. Um, all right, and then the things that are other times during the week. Oh, I lost my label that says art. Well, this is art, and we, the lesson we're doing, you're supposed to draw, but I decided I wanted to paint. I wanted them to paint, so I put watercolors in. Um, Wyatt will kind of follow along on this one. There's two pieces of watercolor paper here in the bottom, some paintbrushes, and their watercolor sets. And then the lesson itself is um, using lines to express feelings. And the project is to create, I believe, a landscape. Yeah, an outdoor scene. I also decided to put in our one of our artist cards from my Osborne, um, whatever this pack is called, um, because I think this is really good way to illustrate this um, topic so we'll talk about that too so we have that for art which I think is on Thursday maybe I'm not sure health I've been having mixed feelings about this this textbook lately um, but we're still gonna do it I'm gonna probably kind of add some more of my own things in as the year goes on but for now I went ahead and put in we typically only do health once a week um, but she likes it, so I went ahead and put in the activities for the whole chapter. And if we want to, if we have time, and she wants to do it more this week, this stuff is here and ready to go. So chapter two is all about taking care of yourself, your skin, your eyes, your teeth. Um, so I just have um, this hand washing chart, a taking care of yourself chart that she can put up for reference. This is kind of fun because they keep track of how much they wash their hands each day. I printed two because there's a little five-year-old I know who needs to do that as well. There's this brushing your teeth activity that you use dry erase marker and a toothbrush. Oh, I need to grab the toothbrush. Um, I have a pack of cheap ones I bought at Dollar Tree. Um, this is a little eye exam. I thought we could all, as a family, do a little eye exam. There's one for kids and one for adults. And then this one is about in this chapter? Let me see, or did I grab one too many? Oh yeah, advertising. Types of advertising and way um, companies advertise to you. So I have a little printable that I got probably off of Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, that we can do. So, um, like I said, really we usually only do one lesson a week, but that's what I have for the whole chapter, so I just put it in there. If you don't use it, then I'm already ready for next week, so. Oh, social studies. Latin, I'm not going to open it up because I showed it in my last, another video that I did. We didn't do it last week. I don't know why I'm so, so, like, not 
ready to do this, but it just keeps getting pushed off. So it's here. Hopefully this week is the week I do it. We'll see. Um, and then the last pouch is social studies. There's a lot in here. Um, we have started using the Skill Sharpeners Geography. I put grade three and we also have grade two um, that we got and didn't use last year. And I think there's no reason we can't do both of them this year. Um, so I have that in here for the days that we want to do it. We um, are moving on to Native Americans in our history. So we are using the Explore Native American Cultures. Typically we do social studies Tuesday and Thursday. We may do it more days this week if we can. So we are going to read a little bit in the beginning of this book. Um, just to remind us where we left off with the land bridge last week. And then there's a cool activity in here where you build a like a salt dough a relief map of the Native American regions. And so I printed from their website. They actually have a lot of resources on their website. The um, publisher of this book, I think it's nomadpress.net slash resources. Um, they have a little map here. So you can see the regions and like the river and the mountain ranges. And um, there's the directions to um, go ahead and make a three dimensional map. I also have this um, map that shows where a lot of the different tribes were that I had printed off a while ago and laminated. So we have that. We will eventually then move into hopefully later in the week working on history pockets of Native Americans. I have them all printed out. I just bought the PDF, which you can do, I think, both from Evan Moore's website, although I did mine off of Teachers Pay Teachers. So those are there. We'll at least get our book started with the first, um, the first, like, your little intro section that shows all the different tribes you're going to learn about. So um, I started already to set up our little section over here. I had to move um, elections over a little bit, but I have that set up. So, and then the last thing I have in here is just the social studies textbook. This one is set up a little different than last year's was, um, in that it doesn't go like in historical order of events. So. Um, we're not able to use it in quite the same way that I was hoping. But anyway, we are on to Unit 2, which is about community celebration. So, again, I have a printable that we can do about celebrations. And then we literally will just sit together and read through the chapter. Um, I've kind of, there's a couple mapping activities usually throughout the unit, and we do typically do those. We don't do a lot of this anymore. I just find like it's, um, I don't know. We're just reading it just to read it really is where we are with this right now. But here's like a little mapping activity we will do. So so that's a lot for social studies, but that is one of her favorite subjects. So we'll see. We'll see how much of it we get to, but everything that I could possibly need for the week is in these pouches and ready to go. Um, all right, now I'm going to move on and show you why it's, but I've created quite a mess here that I'm going to have to clean up. Um, his are pretty simple, um, you know, because he's five, so his stuff is easier to put together and it's usually a lot more fun. <laughs> so he has his uh, morning binder as well. It's pretty much the same. Oh, I didn't erase those. It's pretty much the same as I showed you in previous weeks <clears throat> for his math. We are also doing um, Math Made Fun, uh, the kindergarten one. I have some counters in here because we're going to use those this week. He also has a marker board in here and a hundreds chart. Ava has a hundred chart in hers too. And then I use these folders in his this week. And I just put the lesson and whatever activity pages there are. And then the um, activity centers on the other side. So I have that for every day of the week in those folders. So that is his math, his science. We are almost done, hopefully soon, with, so we can move on to the kindergarten one. We're still using the pre-K um, Smart Start STEM from Evan Moore. 
And we are doing this unit about the weather. And the project that he gets to do, you read about um, the spider here. We will probably sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. And then your um, task is to build, um, design and build an umbrella uh, for a spider. So you're just supposed to give them these types of materials. So I have all of that type of stuff in here. And we'll see what you can come up with. And then I decided since we did the Very Busy Spider last week, which I showed in one of my videos, um, I have the book here so we can read it again. I found our version of it. We didn't have to use that little copy from the library. I knew we had it somewhere. Actually, Ava knew where it was and found it. Um, but in this one, the web is kind of textured. But anyway, since the STEM unit was about spiders, well, it was really about weather, but it ended with a spider. And since we did this last week, I thought we'd read it again. I have a paper plate and some string. We never got to this activity last year or last week. You just cut some slits around the paper plate and they can wrap the um, string to make a web. And then we have this book called Animal Architects and there is a section in here about spiders and their webs. Where is it? Here we go. So we're gonna read that and he'll make his little web. And in this, I don't know where it went. Oh yeah, here it is. Grosses me out, it looks real. There's a little plastic spider, so he can put that on his web with his spider, or with its umbrella, and he'll have all kinds of fun. All right. For reading and phonics, he has his all about reading. Um, I have, we have, one of the lessons we, we ended the week with last week, we did not finish, it's, um, the lesson where you read two stories. And it was just so much reading between all of the practice pages and the stories. We still have one practice page and one story left in that lesson. Um, but I just have, I just keep the um, activity pages for several lessons in here. So they're just ready to go um, when we need them. So they're right here. Um, in addition to that, for this week, I have two sets of word sorts, word sorts from Words Their Way. So he'll do those on two different days. And then I got this for when we go to the pumpkin patch. Um, he can write a pumpkin poem. There's a couple in here um, that he could do. But we think of words to describe the pumpkin. And so I thought that that would be fun to do. And that's where I got the pumpkin template for um, Ava's. Okay. Handwriting is always the same. I'm not even going to show you. We have a Zaner Blozer workbook. We have um, his journal in here. And that's it. And then social studies. This is last one. And we have the skill sharpeners geography. I didn't mark the page. But we are going to do map symbols one day. And then another day we are going to do um, looking at the world. And then we are going to actually, in our core knowledge um, book, we are going to go back and reread chapter one because we kind of went through it pretty fast. It's not a very long chapter, but um, it relates back to that map. And then I have this map here and we're gonna sing the Seven Continents song to go with it. And then I also have this book that, hold on. Ugh. We've had for a very long time, it's been on our bookshelf, and I don't think any of my kids have picked it up and it's too cool. So he and I are gonna look at that. It's called The Seven Continents of the World. I got it, is that Barnes and Noble? I think that's Barnes and Noble. But it has all these really cool flaps that you can um, lift up and you can't see through the viewfinder and there's information. So it's um, broken down by continent. So I think that that'll be fun to look through that. So those are the things we will do in social studies with him this week. <sighs> and that is everything. Oh my gosh, 25 minutes long. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, um, leave them down below and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching.